Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O our God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, O comfort of the spirit of truth, who art in all places, and fills all things, treasure of good things, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O gracious Lord. kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Spirit, 
both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine esteem. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou, who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. May glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O champion dread, who canst not be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good and all praise Theotokos, Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God, and alone art blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and Orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Patriarch John and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God who loves mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to the holy consubstantial life created in undivided trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept, I awake, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord, thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, I awake, for the Lord sustained me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head, as a heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have warred by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all of my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sword, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me. And they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and I imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in his mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. 
do I hope thou, thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I, for I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me when my, fli when my foot slippeth. They magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. Mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land, where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because of thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips, when I remember thee upon my bed, and may it meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, it shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou art in my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now, endeavor, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath most strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave? or thy faithfulness and destruction. Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou my face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend, hast thou put far from me and mine acquaintance into darkness? O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within thee. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all its benefits, and forgive all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like a, a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as a grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth, passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. 
but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto the children's children, to such that keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared the throne, his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in his strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, and all his places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all the places of his dominions. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications, and in thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies, I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good, lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good, lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the
Unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. And thou be delivered unto death. 
intercessions of the forerunner, have mercy on us. <laughs>
virgins of the Lord, we may be prepared to enter with him to the marriage feast. For the bridegroom being God, bring to all an incorruptible throne. Will a priest inscribe no Christ through great envy, brought against the council deviating from the law? Leading Judas the betrayal, wherefore we went out with audacity and spake unto those long transgressing people, saying, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto your hands. Wherefore, Lord, save our souls from this condemnation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. That evil adversary Judas was moved by a silver love of mine. He planned by conspiracy the betrayal of the master and fell from the light, accepting darkness and having bargained for the sale. He sold the priceless one. Wherefore that wretched man found hanging in horrible death a reward of his deed. Save us therefore, Christ, from his company and grant forgiveness of sin to those who eagerly celebrate thy compassion. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Attend. At that time, the Pharisees went and took counsel how to entangle Jesus in his talk, and they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are true and teach the way of God truthfully and care for no man, for you do not regard the position of men. Tell us then what you think. It is, law is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, why put me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the money for the tax. And they brought him a coin, and Jesus said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? They said, Caesar's. Then Jesus said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. When they heard it, they marveled, and they left him, and went away. That same day, Sadducees, who say that there is no resurrection, came to Jesus, and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies having no children, his brother must marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died, and having no children, left his wife to his brother. So to the second and third, down to the seventh. After them all, the woman died. In the resurrection, therefore, which of the seven will she be wife? For they all have her. But Jesus answered them, You are wrong, because you know neither the Scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like the angels of God in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astonished at his teaching. But when the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they came together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked Jesus a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment of them all? And Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question, saying, What do you think of the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, How is it then that David in the Spirit calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies like footstool? <coughs> if David thus calls him Lord, how 
how is he his son? And no one was able to answer him a word, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. <clears throat> then said Jesus to the crowds and to his disciples, the scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat, so practice and observe what they tell you, but not what they do. For they preach, but they do not practice. They find heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with their finger. They do all their deeds to be seen by men, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long, and they love the place of honor and feasts, and chief seats in the synagogue, and salutations in the marketplaces, and being called rabbi, rabbi by men. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brethren, and call no man your father on earth. For you have one father who is in heaven, neither be called masters, for you have one master, the Christ. He who is greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you shut the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither enter yourselves, nor allow those who would enter to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and for a pretense you make all prayers. Therefore you will receive the greater condemnation. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you traverse sea and land to make a single proselyte. And when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides who say, if anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he is guilty. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gold or the temple that has made the gold sacred? And you say, if anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is guilty. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So he who swears by the altar swears by it and everything on it, and he who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it, and he who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. <coughs> These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. You blind guides, straining out the gnat and swallowing a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cleanse the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of extortion and rapacity. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and of the plate, that the outside may also be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within they are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. So you also outwardly appear righteous to men, but within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the monuments of the righteous, saying, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you witness against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you brood of vipers. How are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from town to town, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of innocent Abel to the blood of Zachariah, the son of Barakiah, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I say to you, all this will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, killing the prophets and stoning those who are sent out, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you would not? Behold, your house is forsaken and desolate. 
For I tell you, you will not see me again until you stay. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thee, For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. dismayed at the rebuking of the fig tree. Act and double the talent given to thee with a fatigue-loving purpose. Awake, a watching and crying out, lest we remain outside the chamber of Christ. Lest we remain outside the chamber of Christ. <coughs> o wretched soul, why art thou indifferent, and why dost thou vainly imagine unavailing ventures? Why dost thou direct thine energies to things passing? For it is the last hour, and we are about to be separated from what is here. Wherefore, while still thou hast time, listen and cry, I have sinned. O Christ my Savior, despise me not like the barren fig tree, but since thou art compassionate, have mercy upon me who cry to thee in fear, lest I remain outside the bridal chamber of Christ. Lest I remain outside the bridal chamber of Christ. He teaches us not to rest as though safe in virginity, but to guard it whenever possible, and not to desist from any virtues and good deeds, especially deeds of mercy, which make the lamp of virginity shine brilliantly. He teaches us also to be ready for the end, not knowing when our hour is coming, as the wise virgins were ready to meet the bride, lest death overtake us and close the doors of the heavenly chamber in our hearts, and we hear the terrible judgment which, which the foolish virgins heard. Verily, 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 I know you not. Wherefore, O Christ the bridegroom, remember us with thy wise virgins, and have mercy upon us. Amen. Verily, the three upright youths yielded not the command of the usurper when they were thrown into the furnace, but confessed God, singing, Bless the light of all his works. Let us cast indifference. 
fragrance away from us, and with sparkling lamps and songs of praise, let us welcome Christ the Bridegroom, who dieth not, crying, Bless the Lord, all ye his words. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let there be sufficient of the oil of mercy in our vessels, lest we make the time of receiving prizes a time of bargaining. And let us sing, Bless the Lord, all ye his works, both now and ever and Ages of ages, amen. O oh, ye who have received the talent from God, make it double with the help of Christ, who granteth equal grace as ye sing. Bless the Lord, O oh, ye his works. We praise, bless, and we worship the Lord. Verily, the three upright Jews yielded not to the commander, the commander being shepherd. But confess God, singing, Bless the Lord, all ye his works. The faith of gross and mother of the light, let us honor and magnify its song. Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. I behold thy bridal chamber, richly adorned, O my Savior. 
Unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory be to God on high and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God of the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, as we have set our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, make me to understand thy commandments. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me with thy precepts. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. And this for the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. And this for the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. And this for the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. And this for the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful. And a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. And this for the Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theosophos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
Bow your heads unto the Lord. on high and regards the humble of heart, and within all seeing eye beholds all creation. Unto thee we have bowed our neck and our, the neck of our souls and bodies, and treat thee, O holy of holies. Stretch forth thine invisible hand from thy holy dwelling place, and bless us all. And if aught we have sinned, whether voluntarily or involuntarily, forgive, inasmuch as thou art a good God and lovest mankind, vouchsafing unto us thy earthly and heavenly good things. For thine it is to show mercy and to save us, O our God. And unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, ye believers, let us work diligently for the Master, for he distributes welcome to his servants. Let each of us, according to his ability, increase the gift of grace to full. Let one be adorned with wisdom according to good deeds, another accomplish of service with splendor. Let one preach to the unenlightened in word and faith, another distribute treasure unto the poor. For thus shall we increase the loan twofold, as faithful agents of the grace, and be worthy of the joy of the Master. For if for Christ our God prepare us for this, since thou alone art the lover. We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoiced and were glad in all our days. Let us be glad for the days wherein thou hast humbled us, for the years wherein we have seen evil. And look upon thy servants and upon thy works, and do thou guide their sons. When thou comest in glory with the angelic hosts, O Jesus, and sittest on the throne of judgment, Separate me not from the ways of thy right hand, and for thou knowest that the ways of the left are crooked, and destroy me not among the goats, a hardened sinner, but number me with the sheep on thy right hand, and save me, for thou art the lover of mankind. Mm. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be on us, Prosper thou the work of our hands, O oh, prosper thou our handiwork. O oh, bridegroom, brilliant in thy beauty above all mankind, who didst call us to the spiritual banquet of thy chamber, cast away from me the likeness of the rags of iniquity by, by participation in thy passion, and adorn me with the robe of thy beauty, and distinguish me as a brilliant guest in thy kingdom, for thou only art compassionate. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat>
It is a good thing to confess unto the Lord, to sing praises to thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy mercy in the morning, and thy truth by night. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages. Amen. Amen. O wretched soul, think of thy last hours. Be dismayed at the rebuking of the fig tree. Act and double the talent given to thee with a fatigue-loving purpose. Awake, watching and crying out, lest we remain outside the chamber of Christ. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Yada board hum, 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 yada board hum. Kyrie eleison, 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 Kyrie eleison. Gospody Pomilo, 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 Gospody Pomilo. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. For honorable and the cherubim. Blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Heavenly King, strengthen our civil authorities, establish the faith, pacify the nations, give peace to the world, protect the city, place our departed fathers and brethren into the glory places of the just, and of thy goodness and mercy receive us also who come to thee with repentance and thanksgiving. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth meddling, lust of power, and idle talk. But give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins and not to judge my brother, for thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. voluntary passion for our salvation, Christ our true God, for the intercessions of Zell Immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, at the supplications of the Holy Glorious Prophet, Forerunner and Baptist, John, of the Holy Apostle Andrew, the first called patron of our community of faith, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, your human honor, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good, 
and loves mankind. Amen. Amen.